Well, today it looks like we're going to be taking off another genre of TikTok drama, because today we are talking about intern drama. And more specifically, some intern drama that has resulted in someone not being able to graduate from university. So to add some context to this situation, there's two main people you need to be aware of, or I guess a person and a company, and the first person is actually Olivia, also known as... I got dumb bitchitis. As we can see by her bio, it says my only personality trait is being a horse girl, and if we look at her TikTok page, she definitely posts a lot of videos of a horse. But today's topic actually has nothing to do with a horse. In fact, it has to do with this company right here called Poppy Cosmetics, which I assume is like an American company because I don't think we have it here. I mean, as you can imagine from a cosmetics TikTok account, they uh, show a lot of like cosmetic type videos, although we can see their most recent video that is pinned is a statement. Uh, we'll get to that later. So it seems like this situation first became public when Olivia posted this video on the 26th of June and it's just got like copyrighted music in the background and she doesn't actually say anything, it's just the writing on the screen. So let's give it a read. When my boss for my internship takes me out of the Slack group chat, logs me out of the TikTok and blocks me on iMessage when I try to ask her what's going on because I have genuinely no idea what's going on when we talk the day before at 4pm like we normally do. So it's actually a pretty vague video in the sense that she doesn't mention the company, but just five days ago she uploaded a video mentioning the company. It's one of them type of videos that's a trend on TikTok where it's like, put a finger down if you, and then goes into a really like elaborate specific story and then you put your finger down at the end to say that it's happened to you. So put a finger down if you started interning for Poppy Cosmetics this past March, but a couple days ago, um, she took you out of the Slack group chat and you hit her with like a, hey girl, like what's up text? Like, uh, like what's going on? Um, she doesn't answer for a couple hours. So you kind of reach back out to her again at 7 p.m. You know, you're like, maybe she's been in meetings all day. She's on California time. So she's three hours behind you just to realize that she blocked you on iMessage. You then send her an email because you're thinking like, hmm, this is a little weird, but why would she, you know, ghost me out of nowhere when I've been working with her since March? Yeah, I mean, that is definitely a very weird way of going about it, right? You know, if you fire someone like an intern or an employee, whoever else, you usually do tell them. You don't just kick them from a group chat and then ghost the messages. That's not usually how it goes. And now you're starting to get a little worried because you got it approved through BU that you could get four credits so that you could graduate only a semester late rather than a whole year late. You're freaking out a little bit, but you're like, whatever. You shoot her the email, you go to bed. The next morning, you wake up to see that you are blocked on TikTok, blocked on Instagram. May I add blocked the company account blocked you on your personal account your horse account and the bu equestrian account i mean blocking the horse account is a bit far isn't it sorry i don't mean to laugh because it's obviously a bit of a shitty situation she's saying that she did this intern to get four credits so she could graduate a bit early it seems like that's obviously not going to happen at this point but i've just never heard of a boss that first of all just ghosts like an employee or an intern out of nowhere doesn't tell them that they're actually letting them go but then even goes as far to block like every account they possibly have including an account that they have for their horse it all just seems a bit childish from this point of view, right? Obviously, we're going to get to Poppy Cosmetics' response in just a second. But yeah, it definitely sounds like a bit of a childish way to go about it, judging from this video. So now she has blocked your number, blocked your Instagram on all three of your accounts, and blocked your TikTok, as well as she did log you out of the TikTok um, the day before. But you didn't really think anything of it. She's got a new intern, whatever. Maybe she's changing passwords. So you still haven't heard back from her email. Yeah, you should probably think something of it at this point. <laughs> you know, like you've been kicked out of like the work group chat and then you've been blocked on every single social media possible and just logged you out of the business account, which is literally what you were doing in your internship from what I believe. Yeah, um, probably should take the hints at that point realistically. So you're assuming that you're blocked at this point and now you don't really know what to do because you don't know if BU is going to give you your four credits. So the only thing you can resort to is leaving one star reviews on her Amazon page. Also, you reach out to one of the interns because the other intern, I can't find her Instagram. And you send her a long DM saying, hey girl, this is so fucking awkward, but I have no clue what's going on because she basically ghosted me out of nowhere. And to my knowledge... Nikki, the boss, texted me at 4 p.m. the day before asking when I could make some content and I told her I could make some content later in the week and she said, oh yeah, that's great, totally okay. So now you're completely ghosted and as I said, your only way of basically getting in contact and her knowing you exist is by leaving one star reviews on Amazon. Okay, so she mentions a lot of bits of information there, but the main thing is, is that she was doing this internship for Poppy Cosmetics, all of a sudden she just gets ghosted out of nowhere, gets no explanation as to why she's being let go or even what is happening at this point. And when she tries to get in contact just to get an answer as to what is happening, 
she gets blocked on everything. Now, obviously, as we just heard, the worst part of all of that is that she was using this internship to get like the four credits to graduate a semester early, I believe she said. And it looks like that is obviously not happening at this point. Now, after these videos were posted, they went like stupidly viral. I mean, the first video we looked at is on 12.4 million views. And that most recent video we just looked at is on five and a half million views in just five days. Like these have went pretty big. So obviously, as you can imagine with the situation being so big, Poppy Cosmetics had to respond to this and they did. Some of you may have seen recent TikTok post from a new former intern about the former intern's brief tenure with the company. Unbeknownst to the company at the time, the former intern interviewed for commenced and engaged in the internship. The former intern was seeking university credits for the internship, which was not disclosed to the company until May. Okay, so basically what they're saying here is that they didn't know that this internship was going to be used for university credits. The company was also advised by the former intern that the university required the former intern to complete a document demonstrating that the former intern complied with the university's requirements to receive in internship credits. The former intern, however, advised the company that the former intern failed to comply with the university's requirements for receiving internship credits, specifically the number of hours required by the university each week. Okay, so on top of the fact that they're obviously saying that they didn't know this was being used for university credits, they're also saying Olivia didn't work the required hours to get the credits, but she's almost like saying to them like, oh, you know, just, just do it anyways. Now look, we obviously don't know 100% what's happened to you. I mean, we'll get to Olivia's newest response after this where she just basically says that this is all a big lie and she explains like her side of the story, we obviously don't know. Notwithstanding the former intern's failure to comply with the university requirement, the former intern requested that the company execute the document and to misrepresent to the university that the former intern complied with the university's requirements for credit, something that the company would not do. So yeah, they're basically just saying like Olivia was like, oh, you know, I'll just do it anyways, do me a favor. As a result of the former intern's recent post and under a full reservation of the company's rights and remedies, the company reported the former intern and provided documentary evidence to the university. With the company's full cooperation, this matter is now being handled and investigated by the former intern's university. The company has been happy to cooperate with and fully support the investigation. As a result of the ongoing investigation into the former intern by the university, the company will not provide any further public comment until such time as the investigation is concluded. The company, however, was compelled to make this statement to correct the public record. The company appreciates your understanding. Thank you. Okay, so on top of everything we just said with the statement, it's also now being investigated by the university apparently, and Poppy Cosmetics are working with the university to give them the information that they need. Now, obviously, as I said, we don't know what parts are true and what parts aren't, because we've got two people here or a person in the company that are clearly disagreeing. We'll get to the newest video in just a second. But one thing I do find interesting about this statement is that they just didn't mention the fact that they just kind of ghosted Olivia out of nowhere and didn't explain that they were letting her go. So the fact they haven't addressed it does make me think that maybe that part is true, which I just think, isn't that just such a weird way to run a company? Forget everything else, but if you're going to fire someone, you should probably let them know. But either way, that brings us to Olivia's newest video that was posted a day ago, and it's actually seven and a half minutes long. She goes into a lot more information about this situation, and she actually starts off by busy saying the statements are untrue. I really felt the need to defend myself, as a lot of the stuff that Poppy Cosmetics wrote in that statement is not true and is incredibly misleading and is making a lot of people believe that what I did was the cause of me getting terminated and then people just assuming a lot of other things. So I wanted to come on here, clear the air, and explain my situation. Yeah, so what I will say is that throughout all of these videos, including Poppy Cosmetics videos, there's not a lot of evidence to really back up anything. So it's just kind of based on who you believe. You can let me know in the comments who you actually think is in the right here, if you think any of them are. So the beginning of this video is just Olivia basically explaining that she had to do an internship to graduate from her university. And you could actually do it for two credits or four credits. If you did it for four credits, which is what she did, you would have to write like a big paper talking about your experience working with Poppy Cosmetics. Or you can do a little bit more. So in my case for receiving the four credits, I have to complete an eight to 10 page paper talking about my experience working at Poppy Cosmetics and while I don't know anyone that has done the two credit option I'm assuming it's probably around the same thing just probably a shorter essay and then she goes on to say that there was no time log there was no lying about hours or anything like that so no there was no time log there was no me logging false hours there was none of that it basically would just be me writing an eight to ten page essay about what I learned and then because my supervisor had the form with all of uh, Poppy Cosmetics um, CEO Nikki Naiman's information, they could reach out to her to verify that I had even been an intern at the company because they don't reach out to them beforehand. So for the four credit course, BU wants you to complete 
15 to 20 hours of work a week, which is very understandable considering that they look at you for a semester long. So a lot of these people are only having internships for a short period of time just to meet the requirements. So for example, I'm signed up for this summer session, which started at the beginning of June, and my essay I believe is due in the middle of August. So it is way more than fair that BU wants you to complete 15 to 20 hours a week so that you can have gotten enough work done and learned enough to write this essay. Since by the time August would have rolled around when this essay was due, I would have been working with Nikki for almost eight months. And although I was not working a typical 15 to 20 hour work week, which most summer interns do, I had been working with her for such an extended period of time that I was going to have met the hourly requirements per week for over this eight month period that I was working. Okay, so this is the part of the story where this whole like hourly requirements situation is happening. So it seems like they're both kind of right in a sense, from what we're being told here. Because Poppy Cosmetics obviously came out and said that she didn't do the right amount of hours required for this to be signed off. And Olivia's coming out and saying, well, yeah, because that required amount of hours is for a short period of time. We're actually working together for eight months. So it's gonna be an eight month period. I would have done the hours by then. So the thing I would be interested to hear is, did this need to be signed off like now when she hadn't done the hours yet? Or would she have been able to get it signed off after the eight month period when she would have done the hours. So now getting into the meat of the statement, towards the bottom of the first page on the statement, Nikki or the company stated that the company said that they would not help me write alleged hours. This is actually not the case. So Nikki and I um, on Slack, when I reached out to her in May, telling her that I wanted this um, internship to count for credits, which she also probably should have assumed because she knew I was a full-time college student when she hired me, but we'll get into that later. We had talked about how I wanted this to count for four credits. I opened up to her about the fact that I was a transfer student coming from Baylor. BU hadn't accepted a lot of my credits because a lot of the classes at my old school didn't fit into my new school. So I was already graduating a semester late. And I really wanted this internship to count for four credits so that rather than graduating a whole year late, I could only graduate a semester late. Nikki really sympathized with me in this moment and she talked about her experience in college and how she completely understood where I was coming from. So when this statement came out saying that the company denied to do so, it was surprising even to me because that is not what happened at all. Okay, so I guess we might actually get some answers with this whole like alleged hour stuff because clearly if I had to predict, Olivia's about to say something that Poppy definitely didn't say in their statement. Nikki basically just had to give the okay that in the case BU reached out that I worked for her and I completed the hours, which would have been true because by the point August hit, as I just said a couple seconds ago, I would have worked more than enough hours. There is also no way for her to know how many hours I worked or didn't work every day since as I'm content creating, she doesn't know how much time it would take for me to get ready or research trends or how many tries it would take on a video. But regardless of that fact, what Nikki said at the bottom of the first page about the company denying me to help me with my internship and getting four credits is false. It's a complete lie. Okay, so from what she's saying here, it seems like this document wouldn't have to be completed until she had completed the hours. But according to Olivia, Poppy Cosmetics just kind of let her go before she could do that after she'd already been working there for a couple of months. Which if that is true, you can see why Olivia would be fuming about this, right? She's doing this internship to get her credits. She's already been there a couple of months and then suddenly she just ghosted and she's like right back at the beginning. But of course, like I said before, we obviously don't know 100% what's happened to you because we weren't there. So you can't really give like concrete opinions. Also, this is not the reason why Poppy Cosmetics fired me. I actually still have no idea why they fired me. And even if it was, this is no means for ghosting or blocking me and just not answering my texts or emails. Yeah, that part of the story is still very weird to me. Even if all the stuff that Poppy said was true, why are you just ghosting? Why would you just say like, oh, we're gonna have to let you go for this reason? So for everyone in the comments saying, oh, this is the reason why she was fired. She did this, she's a horrible person. That's just really not the case because why would you have heard about this in May? supposedly denied that you were going to help me get the four credits when BU was going to either email or call you and then let me still be an intern up until the end of June. And if you guys don't believe me about being an intern, I do have photo, I have screen recordings and screenshots before Poppy Cosmetics deleted all my videos on TikTok and Instagram. Okay, so what she is saying here is that this actually has nothing to do with the reason why she was let go because as they said in Poppy's statement, 
this all happened in May, but she carried on working there until the end of June, like, what, so a mo at least a month later, maybe a month and a half, however long it was. So according to Olivia, the reason why she was like, oh, it's completely different. In fact, she doesn't even know what it is because it happened so long later. And if that is true, I wonder if maybe like Poppy Cosmetics saw Olivia's first videos, which was kind of all about the fact that she can't get these credits anymore because of like her experience of Poppy Cosmetics. And then maybe they just use this thing that happened a little bit earlier as the reason. That's obviously me jumping to conclusions. It's obviously not 100% true. I'm just assuming here. But um, yeah, there's clearly some parts of the story that we just don't know about. There's some bits missing. I could go on and on about this for hours, but I'm going to choose to keep it really short and sweet. Um, but at the end of the day, for people reading the statement, she never once mentioned about why she blocked me, why she ghosted me, and she never even admitted to the fact that she ever did that. Yeah, like I said, I don't understand it. I guess the reason why she didn't address it is because she probably just knows there's no way to make that look good. But you know what? Now that we've watched all the responses, let's actually take a look at the comment section. Let's see what people are saying. I hope you're talking to attorneys, girly. I'm sorry this happened to you. I've never even heard of Poppy Cosmetics. Who the fuck do they think they are? I ran their statement for an AI checker and 91.35% came back as ChatGB slash AI written. I reread that statement about 30 times and I seriously didn't understand it. I'm glad I'm not the only one because it was all over the place. Yeah, it was a bit weird. It was also confusing because they weren't mentioning people's names. They were just like, the company, the company, the company, the former intern, the former intern. It just did seem a bit all over the place, to be honest. And maybe it was actually AI written because I'm thinking about it now. If you were to write a statement for your company, wouldn't you just say like Poppy Cosmetics rather than the company? I don't know, maybe I'm looking too much into it. Girl, even if they did fire you for a good reason, I've been fired three times, it sucks. They definitely have to at least tell you that you are fired, yeah. They should definitely have to tell you that you're fired, I don't get that. Oh, and also, I just see the comment here that says, did you keep all the communication? And Olivia responded saying, should be fine as she admitted in writing that she had an unpaid intern not getting credits, which is illegal. I mean, I don't know the laws in America, obviously they differ between states as well, but if that is true, which I don't see why she would say it if it wasn't true, because it's something that you could easily search, I mean, that's not a very good look, is it? But either way, I would love to know your thoughts in the comment section down below on everything that we spoke about in today's video, and I'm going to leave the video there. So if you did enjoy, please do a like on it, subscribe, all that stuff, and until the next one, I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, good, bye.